please subscribe to our channel, Pacific Front Untold, and be sure to leave a comment after watching a video. Japan acquired the Southern Manchurian Railway Company following its victory in the Russo-Japanese War. The modern railway system, spanning from Chungchong to Lushan, roughly 700 miles, attracted countless tourists from Japan and the West. The rail company instantly became Japan's largest company. In its inaugural meeting in November 1905, it had an authorized capital of roughly 200 million yen. The company also quickly became one of Japan's most profitable companies, as it netted 14 million yen in profits by 1912. Another company that contributed to Japan's rise in tourism was the Japanese Tourism Bureau. Founded in 1912, the Bureau served as a tourist company for foreign visitors in Japan. Two years later, the Bureau opened its first branch in Manchuria. The company served to expand Japanese tourism in Manchuria, the Japanese mainland, and Korea. The Bureau rapidly grew, notably following the Japanese invasion and establishment of Manchukuo. The staff members at the main branch increased from 160 in 1931 to over 1,000 in 1941. The Japanese Tourism Bureau also expanded its locations in Manchukuo, opening offices in Shinkyo, the capital, Lushan, and Harbin, to name a few. Japan's effective tourism campaign in Manchukuo came from the cooperation between the Japanese government and the tourist industry. Government officials actively work with these agencies to promote Manchukuo tourism and, ultimately, Japanese propaganda. The Southern Manchurian Railway Company was not the only feature that attracted tourists to Manchuria. Newly built ultra-modern hotels and inns also became increasingly popular. These hotels included luxurious services and amenities, including Western and Japanese food, movie theaters, and golf courses. One of the most popular aspects of Manchuria tourism were the tour buses. Tourists could buy tickets for 1.5 yen to take a three-hour tour around Shinkyo. These tours frequently incorporated the theme of old and new by touring historic sites and renovated regions in the city. Many of these spots incorporated traditional Japanese architecture and culture, including the Shinkyo Shrine that enshrined the spirits of the Shinto goddess Amaterasu and Emperor Meiji. Another popular tourist destination were the ruins and battlefields from the Russo-Japanese War. Port Arthur, in particular, became popular for war monuments. These sites also became an effective means to spread Japanese propaganda. Many of these tours emphasized ideas of Japanese sacrifice and heroism during the war and its role as a leader of East Asia. At its peak, bus tours in Mukden reached 62,535 people in a single year. Magazine publications were another popular form of advertising to promote tourism in Manchukuo. For instance, a publication by the railway company describes several locations to visit for Western tourists. These included museums such as the Manchurian Resources Museum, the Industrial Museum, and research institutes including the Central Laboratory and the Hygienic Institute. The publication also listed the various means of transportation available and the price for each destination. These tourism guides and magazines exemplify the Japanese government's emphasis on accommodation for Western travelers. Manchukuo served to highlight Japanese modernism and the nation's ambitions of internationalism. These publications were not limited to recommendations for sightseeing. They also included brief descriptions of Manchurian and Japanese history. These descriptions often served to spread pro-Japanese propaganda to Westerners. Many of these guides also highlighted the economic and industrial success of Manchukuo. The publications described several aspects of the local economy, from the oil industry to fruit production. These descriptions did not merely serve to illustrate modernization. 
but served as an advertisement for Manchukuo as an opportunity for investment and entrepreneurship. While many Manchukuo advertisements depicted the state as a utopia, in reality, Manchuria experienced one of the worst forms of Japanese brutalities during the 15-year war. Although many affluent Japanese and Westerners experienced luxury as visitors and residents, most locals could barely survive. The Japanese abused and exploited the Chinese throughout the occupation. Many locals were forced to give up their farms to Japanese settlers and live in ruin. Most Japanese colonists, who were promised abundant land, food, and resources, also struggled to survive. The tension between the Japanese and Chinese locals sparked countless violent incidents. Lastly, Manchuria hosted one of the cruelest forms of Japanese atrocities during the war, the Biological and Chemical Warfare Research Units, one of the most famous of which was Unit 731 in Harbin. According to historian Sheldon H. Harris, between 200,000 and 300,000 Chinese people were killed in Japanese germ warfare field experiments in Manchuria. 